Hey, this is Justin with wingsound.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you an overview of the Boom plugin, which is a drum sequencer that comes with Pro Tools 8. Check it out. Here's the Boom plugin, and I've instantiated on an instrument track. So first thing I wanna look at is the drum kit. Now, that when you click on the arrow right here, this is where you can change your drum kit's samples, all of them at the same time. So here's the electro. Next thing I want to look at is the channel strips for each of your kit's separate samples. So you got, you know, they're all laid out, kick, snare, rim, clap, and so on. So to preview the sound, you could click on the name, kick, snare. And what's cool is, let's say you like the whole kit, but not the kick drum, you could click on this little arrow right above over here, and you could choose any other kit's kick drum. Now this is great because you can really custom make your own kit. You can build up your own kit from scratch and take parts from each different drum kit sound samples and put them all together. So it's got some parameters here. You got solo mute, decay, tune, level, and pan. And this little screw is a knob. I'll get to that in a second. So I'm just going to solo up the kick and move around these parameters so you could hear them. And it shows down here how much you're adjusting it. And here's the tune. And it shows how many semitones you're moving it. And then lev level and pan, self-explanatory. So this little screw down here, you click and drag on it, and this changes the attack or like the snap of your sound. All right, so next thing I want to look at is the speed. You have half time and double time. And then you also have this triplet option here, which cuts off the last uh, piece of the sequence. As you can see in this little L LED light um, matrix over here, when you turn it on, those last few pieces in the sequence go away. And it gives it a different feel. So what's really cool about Boom is whatever the main tempo of your Pro Tool session, it's going to conform to that so everything lines up really well. So I'm, I'm going to do this in real time and change the main tempo. So it's really cool, you know, you could get everything lined up real nicely. So the next thing I want to look at is you have swing volume and dynamics. Now swing is, you know, put, puts a different feel on your drum sequence. Volume is volume and dynamic basically affects your velocity. So when you put your little different velocity changes in on each piece of the sequence, the more you move the dynamics knob to the right is the more you're going to hear them. And the last thing I'm going to look at for this part is the, the transport, the start and stop. Now, if you hit play in Pro Tools, this boom will not play with it. So you're going to have to open up the plugin and hit play in order to play with Pro Tools. And the same thing with stop. You can always get in touch with Justin at Winksound.com and check out more of Justin's videos, including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8, now available on demand at Winksound.com.